you know, friends? Oh, here comes Rita through the field. <laughs> Look at that, skis. There she is. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was looking at this truck the other day, friends. I, uh, oh, Rita's live here on YouTube. Hi, Hi babe. How are you? I was just videoing my truck and then on came Rita. Ah. So there's been a couple questions. Where did you learn your axe throwing? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What would you say? It, it comes. It comes from the inside. Like a natural it's a, it's logger's a, daughter. Yeah. Yeah, it's in. It's in something your, that can't be taught. No, it's in your spirit. I would yeah. reckon. Like I'm, kind of born to drum. Right. I never learned, and you never learned to throw axe. You just could throw axe. Mm -hmm. So retax. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> yeah, you. I'm cute. just coming to grab those. Um chairs and cooler okay cool i'm just doing a video i'm gonna get I'm a little late get my video out today friends but uh there's there's lots on the go uh what a beautiful day bum yeah we got lucky with the weather we sure did yeah, well thanks for saying hi yeah, you're keep up the axe throwing yep. <laughs> what a good sport uh, she's a special kid both my kids Hey, we're all going to say that about our children, right? We are, because you. I believe that everyone is is capable of love and passion, and, and we're born with it. We are. It's part of the human condition. We have it. We have the other side, too. We do. We're born with the yin, the yang, the black, the white, the hot, the cold, the up, the down. There's no up without down. What does up mean without down? Well, you can't just be what's up what's up well because that's down <laughs> right so i'm off crazy here but my kids both of them are super neat kids i just love them both dearly hogan's out climbing right now he's been going steady speaking of that young man um friends he's like the eagle out jumping out of the nest and and he's been climbing for ian he's been climbing for and working with ian uh, uh dayton thank you buddy matt matt i know you like watching the channel we appreciate you buddy he loves working with you're a nice guy that's matt hart hardman i believe i forget the name of his his tree service but it's matt hardman uh i'll get the name of it uh summit i think i could be totally wrong but regardless, Hogan is climbing for all kinds of different folks. And I'm so freaking proud of that kid. I got a little bit of footage that I'm going to throw up right now. Um, I've also got some stuff I want to talk about my axes. When I was splitting wood yesterday's video in the rain, friends, like and my axes got all wet because they're in the back of the pickup. I want to talk a little bit about what I do to my axes when I come home from, from a day like that of splitting and, and what I do to my axes. I don't just freaking throw them in the, in the thing there back in the in the bunker <clears throat> excuse me without doing something to him i'm going to share that with you in just a little bit of content it's saturday it's fight night ufc but uh i hope i can get this out for for when you guys come home from work all over there and, and my friends and you can watch this and a little bit of content for saturday night we'll see you guys live tomorrow enjoy this video friends give it the thumbs up give it the thumbs down do whatever you like it's your choice see you on the inside I do want to say one more thing about this truck before I get into this video. Friends, 1967, okay? I was looking at it from the side like this the other day. This is a one-ton truck. Friends, I am so honored to own this thing. Honestly, I am. I'm not, I'm not joking you. Look at the freaking clearance on that truck. It's a two-wheel drive. Gosh, I love this truck. She's just tight and solid, friends. Like, no joke. It's totally a solid, solid truck. God, it was a camper. It had a camper on it, right, friends? Look at the leaves. Look at those leaves. That is factory, friends. Look at those. <laughs> oh, see the boards? Those are those. I got to do a board job on it, right? Right? Yeah. See, look at the ribs. They're mint. The ribs are all mint. There's no rust on any of the ribs. It's just wicked. Anyways, uh, let's get on to this video. Bye, Mom. Bye. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Excuse me. Okay. Let's go watch Hogan do a few little tree moves. And what I do with my axes. I just finished an axe for a guy. And my new banger friend said, I'm, I retired old faithful, right? She's right there. It's a three pound axe. <clears throat> I've retired her for now. And I got, there goes Rita again. This thing, this is where this axe I got inspired from. This axe right here. This is my new banger. It's a German tool. See the fit? Sorry, I'm all over. This is a four and a half pound axe, Weebelhausen, right? West Germany, okay? Made in West Germany. I would, and but buy by the buy by the four jug, four liter. Yeah. You know, friends, this is kind of crazy for me to see this now. Um, I, I just go back to when it was just me and him and, and you know, just showing him what I know and, and getting him going on the basics, you know. just It's important to know how to just get up there and climb down and use a rope, just a rope. Yeah, so it's just it's just a proud dad moment, you know. My kids, both of them, are just doing so good, and life's changed so much. So, friends, I just I wanted to show you guys what Hogan's been up to because he hasn't been working with us. He's been he's been flying, and I'm I'm so proud of my freaking kids. I'm almost getting choked up right now. So, Hogan, if you're watching this, boy, I just could not be prouder of you. I know you just combed through the odd video, but I'm freaking proud of you, son. Well done, boy. I'm just going to put you guys here like we did here the other night. Um, I kind of like this little spot here, actually. What just happened? Oh. All right. I want to talk about axe maintenance. So when you come home, so I'm making a, I'm making a real skook of axe for a good friend of mine. Um, it's right here. He's uh He's a good guy. He's got a YouTube channel growing. He's always bucking and splitting wood. And this is it here. It's a, I made one before. It was a uh, double bit and he loves it. And he says he can't believe the freaking hang. He just, he's very happy. He's probably spit 20 cords of wood. He's told me with it and he loves it. It's a double. It's a nice ax actually. I think it's a true temper, to be honest with you. Anyway, I'm going to make him a Tazzy with a big whiskey river handle. Uh, this is one I've had left over from a while. It's it's a big, it's a good skook of Max. He's going to like it. It's a little thinner in here. It's actually a nice handle. He's got big mittens. Oh, the Tin Man, friends. The Tin Man. We're making him an axe. Now, I'm just getting home, okay? So you got a couple things you can do. This was my wood bullet. So I did this to the wood bullet, right? This was our first wood bullet. It's a couple things you can do, okay? Uh, you can do this. You can dry it off. 
which is a very good idea. Dry the wood off. Dry the handle off, okay? Do you know another thing that works good for uh, on top of the ax? So you try and keep wood out of out of the, the top of the eye because that, that's where you don't want it. it. I mean, the handle's gonna get wet, but some guys use wax, but I don't like the way wax feels on my hands after it sits in the shop. So there's a nice dry handle. This is, uh, I don't think this handle's taken on water, to be honest with you. I've watkered the heck out of it. And uh, it is glorious. This thing's nice. So dry your axes off when you come in. Don't just put them away. Just get, get them dried up. There it is. It's done. This wood bullet's nuts. We didn't even use it today. Look at that axe. This is what we're going to be making. Something like that. Maybe even different. Who knows? But isn't that forge look good, friends? It is. Okay. This is where my wood bullets go in behind me here which I'm very tickled about. Now, what's next? The double bit. Ooh. Stiletto. Wow. What a nice ax. What a nice ax. Friends, just dry them off. Get them dry. You know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys soak them, friends. They they soak their wedges or they soak their stuff in linseed oil. I've never done that, friends. Never, actually. And and I I just find that I, I know that I think probably and if I think about it, depending on if you use your axes all the time, I think it's not a bad idea, but once you do it, you have to continue to do it. You just do. It's gonna dry out. It's gonna. So uh, there's nothing wrong with that technique. I, I don't, I don't mind it. I just don't do it. I try to get the longest hang I can out of, out of a dry hang, a completely dry hang. My hangs are dry. Okay. And, and, uh, and I just leave it. What I do do though, what I do do, do do is I'll use old Mr. Uh, Mr. Whiskey Rivers, um, camp axe. It's, it's wax axe, uh, axe wax. And what I do friends is I do this. I actually go like this. I put the wax up here. I just do. Because water repels wax. Or, or pardon me, wax will keep that water out, right? So I do that up top. I do. I'm telling you, I do it. I, I, I don't use it on the handles because I find your handles, your hands, it'll, it'll, it grabs your hands and it, it can burn your hands. I find. I split a lot of wood, friends. So uh, these are one of the things I, I, I've noticed with the wax on the handle. Uh, I do like it on the head too, actually. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. But I like it here. Uh, now I don't have any water here. But you know what it does. You know what water and wax does. Water beads off of wax. So that's why I do this. Yeah, I like the smell of that stuff. Oh, that Whiskey River stuff. Hey, Brandon, can you send me some more of that stuff? And we'll hit you on the PayPal. So there we go. So, yeah, there it is, friends. Babango. Right? Isn't that a nice axe, friends? <laughs> this is a deadly axe. The funny thing is, it's got a little hook down at the bottom of the handle. You can probably see it, friends. Look, it does not bother me at all. Uh, I could straighten it out. I could probably straighten it out by putting it on there and clamping. I'm not worried about it at all. Anyways, that's probably going to go to somebody, that axe. I got to get in here and, uh, and straighten it. Here's another beautiful little freaking axe. So dear. Oh gosh. I need an axe. I, I gotta build myself an axe rack. I gotta do it. I just do. I gotta do it. Now, this little guy tonight, today. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Friends. You see, water will get in here. You see, it, it will. It, it'll get in there, friends. So just, you know what? Dry it off when you get home. Water swells. So a water is going to make your head stay on better, actually. But you don't want it getting swollen and then shrink and swollen and shrink. Does that enough naturally? Okay. So again, a little wax and on we go. That's it. It'll repel the water in the creases in here like this. I get this stuff and I put it in here like this. See this? And I work it in the crease so that water has no chance to get down in anywheres or sit anywheres. Shouldn't anyways. 
not not with a not with a, a good a good fit a good hang but I just do it I use it I'm being honest but I don't use it anywhere else no okay a little in there there we go Axe Wax, Whiskey River, Axe Wax, right there. I'll probably be using a lot of this. Maybe we should put this on the website, eh, Brandon? A preferred, I have a thing on my website, friends, uh, buckandbillyray.com. Go check it out. It's a great website. Nick Pixel, you're a son of a gun. You helped me out with that. You did a heck of a job. So, um, but friends, go check it out. I've got preferred, um, what do we call it again? preferred brands and it's people that I do business with that are safe uh do great business have good service and are just good human beings and that's our preferred uh brands page okay take a look at that we don't have many in there right now because we haven't done a lot of business with a lot of people <laughs> no partners I'm thinking about putting uh Easton made on there I'm going to talk to him about that we're going to have a jive maybe do a live chat with you guys what do you guys think of that Leave a comment. You want to see me and old Andrew have a chat about business and, and our situation where he gave me that uh, splitter. And I told him, I says, I'm an ax man, Andy. I, I don't know if it's a good idea. I honestly, and he goes, Bucking, it'll be fine. <laughs> he did. He's smart. He's a good guy. Anyway, little wax here. Just here at the bottom of the eye. I just like to do it, friends. Just here, right here. Only here. It just helps with water, especially at the winter time when you got all that water in there. That's all I do. That's it. All around the edges, it keeps water out of there. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And once it's done, just do it every month or two. But it's not gonna hurt nothing depending on how much you use it, right? So yeah, I never I put my hands right up against the head really. Okay. This axe, wow. Okay, here we go. Yep. That stuff smells good, Whiskey River. Gosh, that smells good. I need some more of that, but you had a different one. It was harder. I didn't like it that much. It was too hard. Uh, I've got it here somewhere. I don't know. I think this is it. It's this one. See that? I don't like that one as much. It's, uh, yeah, th this is it. It's solid as a rock. I mean, I guess I could heat it up, but I don't know. It, no, it's different. This is different. It, it, it's hard. Where's the lid for this one? Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. That there, this is done. And when you're done, friends, now, I'm just talking stuff that is different. Don't forget to do your basics, your handle in that too, right? Like just, like I use vodka, you all know that. So whatever you're using, use that as much as you want on your handles too. Keep that in there on that, on that handle on that too. I'm just talking about different stuff that maybe you haven't seen or I haven't shown you of what I do with mine. I use that wax on the heads like I'm just showing you, but but I don't think I show just the regular, the regular stuff for the handle on that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, friends? Back at her. You're done. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh my, friends. I mean, seriously. I, I'm, I'm. So did you notice? Oh, this is. If this was made in the Elwell factory... Uh, I'm pretty happy. Wow. So there we are. That's what I do when I get home with a wet axe. I wax it. Just the head, friends. Just the head. And I use Whiskey River Axe Wax. I think it's called Camp Axe or something. Camp Wax. Whiskey River Camp Wax. Now 
There we go. That's it. That's how I look after my axes. I'll be putting this axe over here for now. Yes, indeed, I will. Reason being, it's mine. <laughs> what else did we have? We had the six pounder. This guy. The big Tim Deck. Big six pound axe. That Tim guy sure is nice, isn't he, friends? You remember him? Tim Dick? We did the axes with? Nice fella. I liked him a lot. Um, this is a heck of an axe. It is. A, it's a heck of an axe. It's just, it's very big, but it is very beautiful. Like, I mean, beautiful. Look at this. Check this out. Watch this. Let, let me give you a little axe uh, heaven here. Check this out. I can't wait to build some axes, brothers and sisters. Look at that sucker. Come on, sucker. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So I'll dry the top off. Because this is a, uh, a nice hang, this one. Real nice. I'll put a little axe wax on her. Can't, oh, can't, can't wax from Whiskey River. I repeat, Whiskey River. Can't wax. And that's what I do. So water doesn't go down in there. That's just what I do. Especially in where your wedges, your wedges meet, put wax right in these little areas and work it in there. Even take big globs and mash it in there because it, it'll... You know how sometimes the wedge, you know what I mean, right, friends? When you, if you've hafted axes, you can see sometimes there's a little teeny space there where the where the big wedge got in there. Here in the front and the back. It's very important. Just little things, friends, like that, okay? There we go. Done. This is good. Yep. <sighs> very good. Lovely. I think that's it. That's it. How many do we do? One, two, three. Love you, friends. Over and out. Be kind. See you on the next video.